Hello, it's Sarah. Gonna be unboxing this cute little bug biting plants terrarium set. I just filmed a video of a plant haul, and this was one of the things I picked up. I got it at Lowe's. So let's get started. I am so curious to see what's in here. So it says on the side, it says you get a Venus flytrap and a pitcher plant. You create your own carnivorous plant terrarium and it includes, it includes ready to plant and grow dormant plants. So there's dormant plants in here. It's educational and fun. So it says a dormant Venus flytrap and pitcher plant, easy to follow instructions, special soil mixture, sphagnum moss. I guess that's all you need. I think Maddie opened it, my son, at the store. I don't know, maybe he didn't. Okay. Hold on. I could have done this off. Oh, okay. 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 So it's in a plastic box. Oh boy. I don't see any plants. I don't know where they're hiding. All right. So this must be the instructions. Ooh, stinky. All right, where are the plants, though? This looks like sphagnum moss. I don't see a plant, you guys. I think somebody stole my plant out of here. I'm trying to see if it's like, it must be in here. Oh boy, I guess I'm gonna read the directions first. Okay, it says, Fill the pot with the large package of peat soil mixture. Large package of peat soil mixture. Peat soil mixture. Let's see. One large package of peat soil mixture, one package of sphagnum moss, and one small package containing dormant. This has a freaking plant in it. You know what? It must be a seed or something. Oh man, that is very um and you know what? I think I'm going to I'm going to pause real quick. I have a piece of screen that I want to put in the bottom. I'm going to go I'll go get that. Um fill the pot with a large packet of peat soil mixture leaving enough space for watering approximately a quarter inch from the top edge of the pot. Soak the sphagnum moss in bottled distilled or rainwater. Do not use treated water. Place the wet sphagnum moss on top of the soil mixture and plant the dormant plants, roots pointing down. Point the, you know what? I don't think I got any plants, honestly. Where is the plant? I'm opening this because I don't think there's anything in here. Let's just see. And I should get a little tray. I have a tray that I could use. Oops. Oh my God, is this the plant? That, I think this is one of the plants. It has roots and it looks dormant. I think this is the other plant. This is so bizarre. <gasps> this is the other plant. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Who thinks this is actually going to work? I don't know. Um, wait a minute. There's something over here. Kirby, stop. All right, so I'm going to go get a bottle of water, a little tray to work on, and the piece of screen, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got this cake pan. I, I cut a little piece of screen. I think he, my husband got this for me at Home Depot. It's like on a big roll. And I just like when there's big holes in the bottom of the pot to put a little piece of screen on the bottom so that it um, the dirt won't fall out. So let's go back to, but that must be the dormant plants. This is crazy. I was expecting something a little different. Okay, fill the pot with a large packet of peat soil mixture, leaving enough space for watering approximately a quarter inch from the top of the pot. So we shall do that. 
This is really light, nice, um, light potting soil. Let me move that. This is just what the, the plants were in. So let's pour this in. So I'd leave a quarter inch from the top of the pot. It's like a half inch. I'm just going to go up to that rim. I think that'll be good. Boy, they give you a really good amount of dirt. That's good enough. I don't, I don't want to... Alright, okay. So that's that. Then, so here it gives you a little... So here's the soil mixture. And then we're going to put sphagnum moss. But i got to wet that. Now see, look, it does show... Grow, tip up, root down, obviously. Press plant firmly into moss. And that's it. Okay, so let's see. The pitcher plant, I don't know which one's different, which one's which. The Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant. Okay, it says soak the sphagnum moss in bottled, distilled, or rainwater. Do not use treated water. Well, I didn't bring a cup. Hold on. I have, you know what I have? I have something. Oh dear, oh dear, Sarah. All right, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I got another container to kind of put this in, and then I can soak it. So it says, I'm going to soak it. Soak the sphagnum moss. It's like it's a little bit more like of a sheet of it, like it's kind of attached. It's kind of chunks. I think it's pretty soaked. Hold on. It's kind of like a sponge, like a sea sponge or something. Very cool. There's a big kind of bark thing in there. Should I soak it more? Or is that soaked? I'm going to put a little bit more. Now it's nice and soaky. Um, all right, place the wet sphagnum moss on top of the soil mixture. Plant the dormant plants, roots pointing down, point of growth at surface. Pressing each plant firmly into the sphagnum moss, add a quarter of a cup of untreated water and place in terrarium. Clear plastic box. Oh, so this must be the terrarium. Oh, very cool. Hold on. Um, okay, first I have to put this. See, so I was supposed to save a little room. Do you think I... That's a quarter inch. All right, I'm going to just pop this on top. And then I'm, I need a measurer because I don't have a quarter, in, a quarter, a quarter cup. This is very cool. Now I'm starting to get it. That is very soaked. Is this a plant? No, it's a sphagnum. Feels like a plant. <laughs> All right, so this is like the little nest. I've watched a few videos of people um, propagating in sphagnum um, moss, and so I'm definitely going to be trying that. All right, so it says, plant the dormant plants, roots pointing down. So I'm going to try and zoom in so you guys can see. This is one of them. I want to say this is the Venus flytrap. But guys, it looks like there's roots. Oh, man. 
is this roots or is this I think this is the roots and this is the top I don't know and let's look at this guy this is called a pitcher plant Maybe this is the Venus flytrap. They, they actually look very similar. I, I can't tell which is the roots. I'm going to have to look at the picture. I think this is the root down here. I want to say these are the roots. And I'm going to... Plant the dormant plants, roots pointing down, point the growth at surface, pressing each plant firmly into the sphagnum moss. Sorry, I'm not in the shot. There, it's right there. Can't really see it. But I'm going to press it firmly into the sphagnum moss. I want to get that root down there. I hope that's the root. I I feel like that's the root. Um, you know, he's got, I don't know if this is all roots, like, or is that part of, oh my god, I really don't know. Like, are those roots? They look like roots. I'm going to put these in the C, or is this just the root? These look like little tender roots. <sighs> I can't tell. Damn it. I wish I had more experience. Um, all right, let's look at this picture. The dormant Venus flytrap and the dormant pitcher plant. This is the Venus flytrap, and I do think that these are the roots, and there aren't very many. I have two little roots. Pushing that down in there. And I'm just going to go with this is the roots down here, these little black things. All of that is the roots, and I'm going to push that into the sphagnum. The sphagnum. Okay. I mean, that's it. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to go for it. Okay. Then it says, add a quarter cup more of water and place in the terrarium clear plastic box in bright light or sit pot in a saucer of water in filtered sunlight. Dormant plants should show net growth in four to eight weeks, so two months. Remove the potted plants from terrarium for direct sun. Um, so what I'm thinking it, I'll probably put like, yeah, I don't need to put anything under, but I'm going to put it in here and a quarter cup. It's like, that's like a quarter cup. And then I'm going to close it. And tomorrow I'm going to put it in, um, what did it say? Indirect sun. <clears throat> Sit pot in a saucer of water in filtered sunlight. Place in the terrarium in bright light. So I'm just going to like let it grow in there. I can see them. I'll come in. So see there's one. And there's the other. All right, it's an experiment. This should make it really humid in there. I'll put the whole thing like in here so that it won't get all, look, I got water all over the place. All right, you guys, <laughs> that was it. So that was my little bug biting plants, carnivorous plants. Um, I have a book that actually shows these guys in a bigger like in that size but the only ones I've ever seen are really really small 
um, I don't know. I just thought I'd try it, see what it was all about. All right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.